Allegedly. Well, not, not allegedly. even apparently. Not allegedly. That man. Diddy has been arrested. And wasn't time. able to post bond. He wasn't able to he post bond. He paid that 50 mil. They said no. Oh, You're staying here. Allegedly, they put out information about all his freak offs. <laughs> And apparently, allegedly, they got caught him with a thousand bottles or a thousand gallons. It was a thousand of bottles of baby, baby oil. oil. And it was video footage, evidence of him, uh, men, and wow. making men, uh, wow. why he, why, oh, why yeah. he, okay, yeah. okay, yeah, 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 okay, mm. it's gonna watch uh, happening. Charlie's video about it. P. Diddy has been arrested. Mm -hmm. Anything is possible. This is a moment for celebration. For so long, P. Diddy has gotten away with heinous crimes that tons of people knew about. From car bombs to assaults to sex crimes. That first one is insane. You didn't know he did that to Kid Cudi's car? <laughs> Kid Cudi's car, not just in the... <laughs> not just a random car. Hey, wait. He tried to Cuddy's car. Wait, he tried to hot bar. No, 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 no. It's because he was when he signed Cassie, he had a thing for Cassie. He was trying to, he was working on trying to get that locked in. You feel me? Uh, I think they might have been already together. Uh, they got with Kid Cuddy so to help her with her music, and Kid Cuddy and Cassie formed a relationship, and he didn't like that. So he had to step in, and he. Kablooey in his car on purpose. Not with him in it, but he did that to send a message. Yeah, Kid Cudi, not just a random stranger, bro. An artist that everybody knows. So, so like, what do you mean he Kablooey? So, like, like his car. Like, dynamite? Like, like I don't know what he used, but he, he hired somebody to... And in his known. Driveway. And it's known. Yeah. Cassie said it, and I think it might have been in a lawsuit, and then Kid Cudi was like, yeah, that happened. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's crazy. <laughs> He's crazy. Bro, we let this man walk free for years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like P. Diddy was going for some kind of high score, trying to catch every possible crime like a Pokemon. He has terrorized the music industry for decades and ruined so many lives. In recent times, the evidence against him to support all the allegations that have existed for decades has been mm -hmm. overwhelming and led to a large investigation against P. Diddy. And now it looks like we're reaching the climactic finale with him being arrested. When this story broke last night, the indictment was sealed. But this morning, they said, open the gates. Let them no. see. To sum it up, he has been no. charged with sex trafficking by force, transportation to engage in prostitution, and racketeering conspiracy. Alleging he ran an enterprise that engaged in sex trafficking, forced labor, or kidnapping, arson, and other crimes. He abused, there, there threatened, and coerced women and others around him to, to fulfill his sexual desires, protect his reputation, and conceal uh -huh. his conduct from, from 2008 to now. What from happened in 08 that made him become, like, you know what, it's time? I think he just, I think it might have been, like, it just, snapped. I think it might have been, like, small stuff. Yeah. And then he just got bolder and bolder. Because, you know, the 90s was, like, him coming up. With his company and Biggie and all the early 2000s or whenever Mace was hot, I think, you know what I'm saying, boom. I think by 08, he probably had been doing the small stuff, but like, I think his <coughs> ego probably got like full size where he like, yeah, I'm him. Yeah, he wanted them for yeah, real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The allegations mirror 11 civil complaints you filed against him since 2023. Really, that's only the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the P. Diddy lore. He is a horrible menace that yeah. has been around for decades. I can't get also that hotel footage is out that my head. He had <sighs> it's not funny. Why they didn't? Why they didn't why say this when they seized it? Why they didn't arrest that nigga then? Because he was on the run. A thousand bottles of baby oil in his house, bro. Bro, this nigga really evil. A thousand. Thousands of bottles of lube and baby oil that were seized from his. <laughs> bro, <laughs> he, he is the. You know when you watch show, you, you, know, you know, you know when you watch TV shows. Yeah. And like it's it's more it's not like a superhero show. It's the ones more based on real life. reality. It's just, it's just evil people like this, and you like, damn, they can't be doing this. These conspiracies and stuff in real life. Him, <laughs> dude. They, think about this. A record executive. Real life. 
freak offs. They raid his house and they catch him with a thousand bottles of baby oil in real life, bro. Man. The crazy part, check, check. How many bottles of baby oil y'all got in your house? I can tell you how much we got. We got one. one. We got one. It's right here for videos. One. And one. without the video, we wouldn't have done it. It wouldn't check, be here. Check, check. This nigga, this nigga crazy. <laughs> Up, up, and they bro. probably commercial size. Bro, you wanna know? You wanna know what's insane about this chat? Like, he's really a monster. Mm -hmm. Crazy part on his back, he has a tattoo of a woman that's supposed to protect you uh, and keep, excuse me, keep you pure or something like that. It's somebody like it, I don't know the the real story, but supposedly it's a it's a lady from like. Some sort of religion. I, I, no disrespect to anybody if I'm getting it incorrect. But it's supposed to like protect you. Like and, a symbol of protection. Yeah, basically. and he's a monster. So he's literally that CEO <clears throat> that's been hiding everything while doing all the dirt. He didn't have reality shows. Super artists. Bro, he told and, all them 22 men, y'all need to get naked. Like, he really said that. <laughs> that's insane. <clears throat> Home during those raids. As part of his freak off supplies. You can't convince me that Usher and Bieber and Meek don't know nothing. <coughs> he also had tons of narcotics as well. So Diddy w became infamous for his freak off parties that would go on for days. The fact that where he named force them that. attendees to not only Hell, stay there and man <coughs> unconsensual sex acts in front of him, but he would just be pumping them full of drugs. And he would be watching while furiously masturbating like a coked out goblin. So in relation to the drug charges, no he'd way. allegedly distribute cocaine, oxy, no Xanax, way, GHB, bro. MDMA, and ketamine. I'm going to be very brave here for a moment and say well, yeah, that's not alleged. That is confirmed. The amount of drugs this guy had here, he was like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, but drugs instead of candy. The amount of freaky shit they found in his house must have been like entering a separate dimension. Thousands of bottles of lube. Like, so much lube would make Bad Dragon's headquarters jealous. That you want to know the craziest part? I, I, I've been thinking about this recently. It got to be scary. Like. Like. There's probably an infinite number of people. That have like, been ran through this place. Yeah, and it's also people just like Diddy that are worse than we Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, wow. Well, hell, we didn't have Jeff. <laughs> we didn't have Weinstein. <laughs> Diddy. Oh, oh, man. What? Thousands of bottles of baby oil. Ain't no more party than Johnson like a Diddy Johnson's party. warehouse, probably. I wouldn't be surprised if they found the goddamn death note among those freak off supplies. His legal team seems very optimistic that things are going to go well for P. Diddy. Uh, they even <coughs> released a statement saying, We are disappointed with the decision to pursue what we believe is an unjust nah. prosecution of Mr. Combs nah. by the U.S. Attorney's Office. Hi, Mark. The fuck is wrong with you, man? Are you serious? Like, I understand it's your job. I get that. But holy cannoli. I ain't gonna lie. The dude that's representing Diddy, they getting up bad. The team that's representing him, you know, why you represent Diddy? I know he, he's gonna lose. If, but! <laughs> imagine he get him off. He get them off. That's insane. That's insane. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. Right here, right now, brother. If I'm a lawyer and he dropping the bag on me, <laughs> I'm gonna play face. <laughs> I'm, hey, I'm not a lawyer, so obviously it never happened. But I'm in it. My team is so my my client is so disappointed. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. That nigga gonna lose. <clears throat> I ain't gonna lie to you. If I'm Diddy, he gotta tell him. Every nigga he fucked. Yeah. Like, yeah, if, if if he going, if he going down, down, Jack, I'm he might as well everybody. go down with a blaze. Yeah. Every celebrity. Meek Mill. <laughs> <laughs> you got, if you going down, put it all out there, bro. Stand on business. Stand on it. Stand on business. Who was, now who that we know. Who was at the freak offs? Yeah, bro. Like, if Cud is saying bro. that, bro, he got to stand on that. He got to stand on Prosecution, huh? So what if there's overwhelming evidence to support the decades worth of allegations against <coughs> Mr. Combs here? And so what if there's that video of him brutally beating Cassie in that hotel? I did his. They should have been arrested off of that alone. Bro, Cause didn't they been have that? 
Probably. Because, bro, like... They should have been arrested off that alone. And that wasn't just no... And But the crazy part, they say that ain't the first time. It could have been. Because they said he... How did. bold... Aaron. Aaron <coughs> how bold do you have to be and angry do you have to be or crazy to run out of your hotel room after somebody? Nothing but a towel. Holding on to the towel like this, catch at the elevator, and drag and all that. No, you messed up and go try to get the footage. Come on, <clears throat> bro. They Come said on, they bro. said he did it uh, at a party too. Come on, bro. Bro, he he done he done, he done punched Jay Cole at the club, bro. He's crazy. He's crazy. He punched He's Jermaine. crazy. Bro, when you told me that, I was like, wait, he hit Jermaine. He done hit Jermaine at the club, bro. <clears throat> Come on, bro. We bro. No, he said he's sorry. Did we forget about that? He R. Kelly too. God, Let's man. all move on from it. So racketeering? You're going to try and come after him for racketeering? Mr. Combs' brain is so rotted from years of drug abuse, he can't even spell racketeering, much less engage in it. This is a load of hooey. It's unjust. A miscarriage of justice, even. He goes on to glaze him a little bit, sucking on his cock, calling him a music icon, self-made entrepreneur, loving family man, <laughs> proven philanthropist. He then has the gall to say he's imperfect but not a oh, criminal. Oh, oh, yeah. And then says <coughs> he's Usher, been nothing but Bieber, man. <coughs> investigation. He voluntarily relocated to New York last week in anticipation of these charges. Please reverse your judgment until you have all the facts. These are the acts of an innocent man with nothing to hide, and he looks forward to clearing his name in court. See, I'm that's telling the, you, bro, the lawyer just trying to get paid, bro, dog. Crazy he's part. Just to get, he's just crazy to get part. Paid. Yeah, he had he had posted bond, right? It was fifty mil. The judge, after all this happened, the judge was like, <laughs> "No, <Nah>, no, <laughs> nope. you, you about to sit in here, nope. bro? You, you about to?" Mm -hmm. Oh, bro. Oh, bro. Oh. The thing, Mark, people have all the facts because there's so much evidence with the facts. Too there much. is video evidence <clears throat> to support the facts. What do you mean? Again, I know he's just doing his job, but that shit is so shameless and foul. I don't know how you sleep at night when you have to defend someone that is obvious. Also, I know this is not on topic. Um,. But shout out to that Exia Gundam you got in the bottom corner, as well as you have a trading card problem. <laughs> All these one piece cards right here. Charlie, you have a problem. His shirt also says DILF. <laughs> um, <laughs> Dang, I love freedom, but still but says like, DILF. Yeah, he, he has, yeah. Shout out to the Exia Gundam. You see all the cards over there, too? I already saw those. Those are framed, right? Yeah. But these aren't framed, meaning he's going through them. Going through them. Through you them. have a problem, Charlie. <laughs> Him. I'm not. I don't have a problem. Tell y'all about Wait, okay, okay, about okay, 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 the Diddy Mike, of Pokemon, Mike, Mike, okay, Mike, all right, Mike, look, Mike. he had this idea, I want to start a Pokemon channel, it wasn't because he actually, I do like Pokemon, he, he liked, it wasn't, the Pokemon channel wasn't because he actually wanted to start a Pokemon channel, it's because he <laughs> actually likes Pokemon, it was just an outlet, why do we have, Plenty of videos released on Poke Bros, which hasn't uploaded in, in a long time. Um, but we also have big U-Haul boxes. I'm talking big, chat. Full of Pokemon cards. I went through the stuff upstairs in the storage room just to find extra cables and batteries and stuff like that for cameras. More stuff in there is Pokemon than it is Camera equipment or 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 just extra stuff. Boxes, crates, and a suitcase. Full. There's a suitcase like this, this exact size, full of Pokemon cards, plus three, two or three boxes, plus other boxes of cards that's just out. So you want to talk about a card problem, buddy? Why are you looking like that? Yeah, uh-huh. Obviously guilty like P. Diddy. It's fucking wild. What? We talking about P. Diddy right now, bro? Right now? <laughs> I, I, I was just saying, bro. <laughs> P. Diddy. 31 minutes ago, Sean Combs arrested in Manhattan after grand jury indictment. Oh, they got him in New York. Why you went back to New York? Diddler. 
They also had that video drop of him beating the shit out of her recently. Why and then he released the York? apology video about it. It's always, like, I understand it's their job to defend their clients, but it's always just so crazy. A statement from Mr. Combs' legal team said that they are disappointed with the decision to prosecute him <laughs> and noted that he had been cooperative with the investigation and had voluntarily I relocated to New York last week in anticipation of these charges. Ugh. Oh, voluntarily. We're so disappointed that they're actually trying to hold him accountable. Like, we're really upset about that, actually. Yeah, there's overwhelming evidence to all of these awful, awful crimes that he's committed, including that video of him beating the shit out of the out of the uh, Cassie. But like, damn, Cat Williams was at it all. Like, huh? I thought this was a free country. Why would you try and like punish him for that? I'm assuming the apology video didn't work. We don't know yet. We don't oh, he know did make an apology video. Yeah, like a month or two ago. Yeah. He, he did, did. He tried. Chat, let's let's drop the Pokemon thing. We're not even on that no more, let's bro. Let's you know what I'm How much money went into those pockets? Well, we can actually examine that. Not the money, but like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't got beat, type beat. We don't um, got to do that. Yeah, he did drop an apology video, do bro. Damn. We no, maybe they'll. All right, Chad. We bringing the Pokemon videos back. Since niggas want to attack me about Pokemon, we 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 doing the Pokemon unboxing of the day. We wanna we want we 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 open the Pokemon cards today now. Since everybody wants to get on air and Can about we finish about P Diddy first. No, cause I don't even talk to nobody. They say here we need to talk. I... Okay, for sure. Okay, all send right, the apology video out to the powers that be, and they'll be like, wow, he is reformed. This is a good man. We can't, we can't punish him for. He's changed. He has changed so much. Look at this apology video and how sincere it is. We're dropping the charges. I was up. bottom. No excuses. You didn't hit rock bottom, bro. It's inexcusable. I take full responsibility for my actions in that video. Bro, you wasn't. He was it takes, I'm not gonna show any of that. It's brutal. It. it takes a big man like bro. Puff Daddy to take rock full bottom. responsibility after saying he's gonna make he no was excuses. In man's bottom. Starting the video with an excuse about hitting fucking rock bottom or whatever. Ah oh, man. Why can't apologize about nothing yeah. else? It took a lot. A lot of courage. That's the only thing that was on video. video. I respect 50 Cent being a massive hater and selling the documentary. Did he do it? 50 Cent has been like. <laughs> I would Fitty say an elite level hater of P. Diddy for quite a while. I don't Fitty remember knew. how long ago this was, but there's a comment he left on an Instagram post of Diddy's that I think about from time to time. And oh, hey, hey, I know hey. seat on that bike. Oh. Oh. It was P. Diddy riding a bike, and yep. 50 Cent oh. left a comment under it saying, We all know there's no seat on that bike. <laughs> oh. Hey, look, at this point, if 50 got a problem with him, Trust him. Yep. Trust him. Trust <coughs> 50. If 50 got a problem with him, and he knows he know something, bro. 50 Cent was huge, and he done met a lot of people. Bro, 50 Cent intuition and knowledge be on point, boy. Tell you. Like, I was industry creeps. my belly when I first read that one. I thought that was so good. Earlier this evening, federal agents arrested Sean Combs based on a sealed indictment filed by the SDNY. United States Attorney for the Southern District of New York, Damian Williams, said in a statement, We expect to move to unseal the indictment in the morning and we'll have more to say at that time. Federal grand jury in Manhattan returned an indictment up, against Aaron? Combs, which set in motion his arrest. The charges remain sealed. Oh. Keeping him a mystery right now. A little loot box of charges here for him. Hey, the name of Mr. Sean Diddy. This federal. This ain't, this ain't, this ain't NYPD. This ain't Miami PD. This is federal. Why they ain't arrest him when they raided his house? Because they, they was making sure. What do we find? We found baby oil? Oh, let's check the videotapes. Oh, let's check. They was making sure. They were like, yeah, he did it. He did <coughs> it. They, federal agents? Re oh, he did this. Some of his camp for kids, where he like brainwashed kids and shit, uh, was it? Puff Daddy Pastry Parade or something. What the fuck was it? What? Puff Daddy. Cyber appreciate the sub. Puffy Flavor Camp. That's what it was. Puffy, Puffy Flavor Camp. That's right. Basically like abducted kids. That's exaggeratory. He didn't like abduct them himself. But it, it, that shit was foul. 
He's the sick, 48 bro. hours with Justin. Oh, yeah. He's, oh. The, the P. Diddy <laughs> clip with puffy flavor camp. He was like, I, I don't remember the whole. I'll, I'll pull up the clip, I guess, in a second. But there is a clip where the puffy there's an interview. Camp, and he's bro. like, no, 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 no. Justin's got 48 hours with puff. He's got a 48 puffy hours. No interruptions. It'll be good for this him or something. Sick, it's bro. so weird. Villain Fucking diddler. And in, in plain sight, like right under everyone's thing. nose for years. Finally, though, they're acting on bro, all of the shit. Everybody, much like Epstein. Everybody that has done anything with Diddy at these freak offs, y'all going to jail? They probably not, but they probably gonna get some of them. Y'all going to jail? They probably bro. gonna get some of the freak off participants. Y'all if going they got to prison, on. bro. That's insane, bro. 